Hi guys, welcome back. I'm glad you could join me for another online edition of art class. I've got pretty cool exercise to show you today called the double doodle. Just like it sounds, double meaning to, doodle meaning to draw somewhat freely. This is a really fun exercise that engages both sides of your brain, the left and the right at the same time while testing your skill of your non-dominant hand. I am right-handed, so I'm gonna be, I always draw with my right hand. It's totally normal for me to pick up marker or a pencil and draw with my right hand. However, my left hand, not so great. I can draw something and maybe people can tell what it is, but it's probably not pretty good. So I'm gonna test the skills of this hand and this hand and they're gonna draw together at the same time. So to start off, I take a piece of paper, and since I'm going to be drawing with two hands at the same time, I won't really be able to hold the paper down. Usually when I draw, I'll hold the paper down with my left hand and I'll draw with my right. Can't do that if I'm gonna be drawing with two hands. So, I take a little bit of my tape. Masking tape will work. This chap happens to be sort of a cheap painter's tape that doesn't really stick very well but it's great to use if you don't want to rip your paper. So I'll put a little bit in each corner. You can use some scotch tape, whatever you got. Just get that down there so your paper doesn't move around. Then find two pens. I have two different colors here. They don't have to be different colors, but it's kind of neat to see how your left side draws with one color and your right side draws with another color. Uncap your pens or your pencils, whatever you got. Anything that you have is gonna work and hold them comfortably in each hand. I'm going to put the tips down side by side on my paper, and I'm just gonna go for it. I'm going to try and draw using mirror symmetry. So whatever I do on one side, I'm gonna try and do on the other side. And it seems really weird at first, and it's not gonna come out exactly perfect, but you're gonna be surprised at what your non-dominant hand can do. Again, your non-dominant hand is the hand that you don't usually draw with. Some people can draw with both hands, and I'm not one of those people. But check this out, I am double doodling. This is actually very stimulating for your brain. It requires a lot of concentration. But again, you can be surprised at how easily one hand can follow the other. So notice I'm doing opposites. If my left hand is going off to the left, my right hand is going off to the right. I'm using careful, thoughtful strokes. It's not a scribble, okay? It requires some concentration to do this. So you definitely don't wanna scribble. And again, it might not be a perfect mirror image, but in the end, you can come up with something pretty cool if you try. Now, right now, I'm just doing sort of a freehand fun sort of design. I'm not trying to draw anything specific, but you can draw something specific you want if you want to. This is a good warm up to just draw an abstract drawing. Remember, abstract means that it doesn't necessarily have to re represent something realistically. I'm gonna take my tape off here. It's pretty cool, I like that. It's fun. It took two or three minutes to do. But I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try to actually draw something real, something that exists. Now, by no means am I gonna try and draw this realistically. I'm gonna draw my cat, Dexter. He seems to be a very good subject of my art these days. So I'm gonna draw Dexter, taping my paper down again. I'll use my same colors just to keep it going. And I'm gonna take the two tips again, put them together on my page. I'm going to start at the top of his head. My cat, Dexter, is an oriental short hair. He's got big ears. So I'm gonna show that like this. 
It's always hard to draw the inside of a cat's ear to me. It's got all that weird waxiness. So we're gonna come on down. He's got really big eyes, so I'm gonna, same thing, my left and my right, I'm gonna try and do the same thing. It feels really weird. It feels awkward, I gotta tell you. And it's not perfect, but that's okay. We're not going for perfect, we're just going for fun. We're trying to see what we can come up with. There's a little shiny spot in the eye. Dexie's got a big nose, bigger than most cats because of his breed. So we're going for his nose there. He's got that cute little cheeky mouth. Dot, 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 whisker holes, or not holes, but dots. Little cute soft chin. He's got a pretty lean face. And of course we'll do the whiskers. He is looking more like a lion than a cat, but that's what he thinks he is anyway. He thinks he's a lion. Here's his legs. And he's got a couple of wisps up here for his eyebrows. And voila, that's Dexter. Let me see if I can write his name. D, E, well, this is harder. <laughs> Writing words is a lot harder than drawing when doing double doodle. But as you can see, it is possible. Anyway, that's my kitten, my special boy. I would like for you to try two double doodle drawings. All you need is some regular printer paper. It's the cheap stuff. If you don't have any printer paper or any paper available, you could totally use a brown paper bag from the grocery store. Cut that out. Any kind of surface will work. And I want you to try doing an abstract drawing a fun little drawing that doesn't necessarily have to represent a realistic thing. Something that looks like this, or actually won't look anything like this. It will look like your own thing, but something representing an abstract drawing. And then I'd like you to try again and try and draw a real thing. It could be a toy. It could be a person at home. It could be your favorite pet, like my kitten. Or it could be some other object that has curves and details to it. Give it a shot. I would love to see what you come up with. Post it in the comments and share. And in the meantime, stay safe and healthy. I miss all you guys, and I can't wait to see you back in art class. Have a great day.